this is how to use jQuery to make your drop downs a lot easier. Now, the reason we're going to use a little bit of JavaScript is because Internet Explorer doesn't understand colon hover on anything but the A tag. So we need a JavaScript backup. Okay, so I just go straight for JavaScript um, to just do the drop downs. Everything else is purely CSS. JavaScript doesn't position anything. All it does is, is help control it. This is the effect: um, is that I can scroll through, right? Obviously, and I can I can go through each of these right okay so basically here is the logic I have a UL let me actually pull up the code this will make it easier I have a UL right given an ID and then I have LIs are those main navs and then I have inside of the LIs ULs again so secondary ULs that are the drop downs I've got a ton of CSS I'll explain real quick um, I'm setting the each UL to style list style none so it gets rid of the dots margin zero padding zero so it flushes I'm telling all LIs go ahead and float left and display inline for Internet Explorer purposes all links are styled I'm doing padding on the links so that I can actually click the whole area not just that I can click the entire box that's why I'm doing padding on the links giving them a background color uh, then only for the ULs in the drop down I'm hiding them so that the drop downs don't show and then only for the drop down list elements I'm setting a margin I'm clearing okay so that they don't f stop so they don't fall up on each other I'm displaying them block so that uh, they all are lined up evenly they're not see see these should not be flushed to the, they should not be in line so these need to be block and then I'm kind of moving them all a little bit just for you know display purposes this is nothing to do with part of the menu uh, only the A tags are have different padding and then I've got some fixes just for this specific case okay so that's the CSS behind it um, now the JavaScript again using jQuery firstly I'm gonna I'm gonna open a global uh, variable they called current drop basically it's gonna store the current UL the current jQuery selection of a UL and then a timer now the reason I'm using a timer is because there is a time it takes to get from this list element to this list element and the same thing as it takes from this element to get to this element it may not be uh, connected like this there's actually a gap here so if I were to make it instant and not have a timer then it would go away every time I went over this gap but since I have a 500 millisecond timer I can do this. see if I actually wait here See, it goes away. So you can adjust that timer, but but you need to have that timer so that way it you know, and I can even kind of go out and come back in if I can do it really quickly. Uh, I can't do it that quick. But the the the, the, po the point is is that your menu may not be exactly next to each other, so you need a little bit of a timer so you can move your mouse around without getting really annoyed. So we store that globally in our document dot ready. Okay, we first so so it. It's neat. You need to know a little bit about CSS. If you don't know how to select, go look at my other video about CSS selectors. But there's a specific uh, this this caret this greater than sign actually uh, selects immediate children. Okay, so we're selecting that UL with the ID of CM nav, and then we're going to select all of its immediate list elements. We're going to add a jQuery hover effect to it. First things, if the if the current if there already is a drop down open we need to close it and that's because if you're scrolling across this top menu menu really fast if you beat that timer you need the menu to go away first so we got to check each time okay and it's just going to call this function which we'll get to in a second then we're going to set the current drop to okay the current element which is going to be it's going to be an li okay it's going to be a top level li we're going to grab we're going to go through its children and look for the the UL with the CM nav ID and then a list item in that and then the UL in that basically we're selecting uh, we're selecting the list element that we probably actually now that I'm looking at this uh, if it's the children of the LI we probably just need to search for that that's that actually might still work um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually 
more correct than it was before. Okay, so we're gonna so since we selected an li, we're actually gonna this is this refers to that li. We're gonna look through its children and find the ul. Okay, now you need to be more specific if you're doing multi-level dropdowns. But for this, for this single-level dropdown, okay, it's just we're gonna select its ul. We're gonna store that. Then we're gonna use jQuery to show. Okay, basically set display to block. Okay. Next, we the comma means that this is now an out function. So this first one is mouse over, and this is mouse out. So we're going to set our global timer so we can clear it later on. Uh, and it's going to set a timeout. Okay. We're going to set a timeout and call this function after 500 milliseconds. Okay. Let's take a look at this function. All it does is if, the, if there is a drop down, hide it, and then set it to null. So the next time we test for it, it doesn't exist. There you go. Uh, we could probably, instead of testing for if, we could probably just test for uh, if it's visible or if it's hidden, but this works just as well. So th the next piece of the puzzle is, okay, if we were to leave it like this, okay, and that this would select all LIs. The problem is, if you go into a child LI, then you're testing if the drop-down box exists and you're getting rid of it. So as soon, so if we do this, as soon as you go into this next box, it goes away and you can never get to it. See? Never get to it. So we need to select the uh, those secondary LIs separately. And to do that, we just select the main UL, it's, children, it's child UI, it's child UL, and it's child LI. Okay? We could have done, we could have just easily done, you know, this we could have done that dot children ul that that would have worked just as fine too it doesn't matter but this is just easier because it's in the same block we're going to add a hover function to those as well so when you mouse over those we're just going to clear the timeout because we because once you leave that top menu once you leave that top menu it started the 500 millisecond timer to hide but we don't want it to hide once you go into the sub menus so we clear that timeout so we can be in there. Once you leave though, we need to set that timer again. So you can see the balance between the top level LIs and then the sub level LIs. And then of course I already went over this function. So with all those pieces using jQuery, you have something that works cross browser that will be very nice that you can go into these menus and you have that millisecond timer in case you need it more. And now that we're using jQuery, we could do something even cooler and instead of doing show, we could do uh, you know, slide down, and then instead of hide, we could do slide up, you know? So when we do these, you could do that, see? So there's actually multiple ways of doing that, you know? Obviously, there's some more variables I need to adjust for doing that, but you can see using jQuery how this could be very easy, and of course, the point is that it's cross-browser, cross-platform, so it, it's going to work every time.